M-A-N-N. I'm a licensed mental health therapist, retired currently. And um, the, the situation that I wanted to talk about today, I've given you a couple handouts I'll talk through real quickly, but it has to do with a, a 23-year-old gentleman named Micah Taylor. He's currently serving uh, 50 years in Nebraska State Penitentiary with a bullet um, residing in his spine, um, in the lower up, upper spine, because they can't get it out. Uh, he was involved in a uh, traffic. Uh, well, what the situation that occurred was um, I looked at a lot of the evidence in the case. What happened was he got caught up in a sting operation. The gang unit for Omaha police uh, set up a sting to try and sell marijuana uh, to him or buy marijuana from him, which they did. And then they proceeded to follow him in the helicopter and uh, a, a marked cruiser followed him down interstate on 75 and pulled him over there. Um, and from there, you get to see what happened on the left, uh, the packet on Micah Taylor. But before I go to that, I wanted to talk real quickly. I gave you a comparison pack, and this is what I, the uh, oversight committee should be looking at is these kind of things. Because in this situation, two things could have easily happened. A uh, police officer could have been killed. He came six inches from having his own unmarked police cruiser hitting his head. If you watch the videotape, that he could have easily been killed. And Micah Taylor has a bullet in the back of his neck, and he could have easily been killed. So oversight requires accountability and gives feedback to the police. This textbook of a felony traffic stop shows exactly how a felony traffic stop is supposed to occur. It shows two police officers in tandem, in cars, staying back with their guns drawn, ordering commands for the individual to get out of the car. And then they were taken, he's taken into custody. That's shown in the videotape and also here. The Michael Taylor case shows what happened. A uh, single police officer stopped him, even though he had felony warrants, which warranted a felony traffic stop. So you should take all those precautions. He did not do an argument with him, got mad at him, because you can hear it on the, on the dash cam. And then he proceeded to go into the vehicle and try and rip him out of the vehicle to make an arrest. He fell back out of the vehicle, lost his balance, um, and reached into his reached for his revolver and filed three shots. Um, two as he fell backwards away from the car as the car took off, and one of the rounds went through the back of the headrest, as you can see um, in the video. It went through the back of the headrest and into his neck. So what I what I don't understand is why the procedures were not followed for a felony traffic stop. And, and the feedback that that would provide, a, a, an oversight committee would provide that feedback to the police department and um, maybe for other officers may not fall into that circumstance. So, thank you. Any questions from the committee? I encourage you to watch the videos. They're very telling um, in terms of the risks to both officers and uh, the public if procedures are involved. Thank you. Thank you for being here today. Next pro point.